All right. Let's see if we are live. We are live. Let's see. Are we live? Yes, we are live. Let's see. Right. This. Are we live? Unmute this so we don't get any feedback. Yes. Okay, hold on. We have to turn this off. Hey, everyone. I'm just setting everything up here. We're going to get started in a second. Just um, let me know where you are tuning in from. Down below. Let me get my charger. How's everybody doing? Now, if I could just find my window where the hell I was. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Where are we? Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. Let me know where you are tuning in from. I have you guys on my cell, but I also have you on my computer. So I'm trying to set everything up now. But we're going to have fun today because um, I want to share with you guys how... As a matter of fact, let me edit this. And while I'm doing this, um, I want you guys to share this because it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of great information because today I am going to share with you guys how I uh, how I got how I filled up my brand new Facebook group with over a thousand people in just one month. So this is going to be exciting. So how I um, added a thousand people. I'm just editing this thing here. A thousand people to my Facebook group in 30 days. All right. All right. Perfect. Wow. I see all the, the comments coming in. This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Wonderful. All right. Well, let's get started. Just go ahead and make sure that you share it because this is going to be some good juicy stuff and you want to make sure that um, your people don't miss it. So today we're going to talk about how to build your Facebook challenge group to over a thousand people in one month. That's exactly what I did um, in one of my groups. Hey, Yolanda. Hey, Eric. Hey, Eric. Hey, Eric. I see Eric a few times. <laughs> So, hey, hey, everyone. So, yes, how to, how, how to build up your brand new Facebook group to over a thousand people in just 30 days. How do we go about doing that? Well, in case you don't know, um, I was supposed to launch this live stream right here, this video. I was supposed to launch it last Monday. But because I had to go to Miami for some family issues, my father, my 91-year-old dad fell and hurt his foot and I had to go out there, run some errands for him and all that good stuff. But um, so for the month of January, I know we're in February, but this video was supposed to be last week. Okay, So for the month of January, it was all about Facebook groups. It was all about teaching you guys how First of all, how I personally sponsored 52 members inside of my business in one month from one Facebook group. And, you know, so I wanted to take you like through a weekly process and throw, you know, some, share some tips with you to share with you what I was doing inside of these Facebook groups that got me the results that I got and how they continue to work over and over and over again, which is why. I'm the Facebook queen and I love Facebook, right? <laughs> because Facebook, you know, it, it's a free platform. Everybody and their grandmother's on Facebook. And it's a free platform where you can actually use um, to create groups to build your business. So the month of January was all about Facebook groups and how to use them to sponsor new members inside, new customers, new reps inside of your business, or to sell any kind of products that you want. Okay. Now these are Facebook groups that you run. Okay. So Last, the very first week of January um, was all about how I personally sponsored 52 new members in one month inside of one of my businesses, just in one Facebook group. Oh, excuse me. It, it, yes, 52 members in one month in one Facebook group. Okay, that was week one. Week two, I taught you guys how to add bonuses 
to your Facebook challenge groups to make more sales inside of your business. Week three, I talked about how to prospect and close more customers uh, inside of your challenge groups or from your challenge groups, I should say. Week four, we talked about how to create momentum inside of your Facebook challenge groups because it's all about momentum, right? And of course, this is week five. And I know, again, we're in February, but this was supposed to be launched last week, but I didn't get a chance to. So I'm doing it today. Today's Saturday night. I'm doing it today and it is what it is, but I wanted to get it out there because I promised you guys a five part series. So this is part five. So today I want to teach you guys how to build up your Facebook group to a thousand members or more in just 30 days. So I wanted to give you 10 things that I did when I launched my very first Facebook group, 10 things that I did to get a ton of people in there. And right now I think I'm going on, I think it's over like maybe 15 or 1600 people or something like that. I'm not even a hundred percent sure yet, but um, so let's get into it. So I'm going to share with you 10 of the ways that I use 10 things that I did inside of my business that, you know, helped me build my Facebook group to over 15,000 or 1500 people right now as we speak. Um, but in the first 30 days of me launching, I build it up to a thousand. It was a little over a thousand. So let's get into it. And again, make sure that you share this video because this is going to be some good stuff. All right. So the very first thing that I did to bring a whole bunch of people in, to bring a thousand people in one month into my Facebook group, my brand new Facebook group, was I gave a call to action in my emails that I send to my list. That, you know, your email could be about whatever you want. But somewhere in the email, preferably in the in the PS signature, there should always be some kind of call to action, some kind of PS signature that gives somebody something to do. Right. Whether it's web registering for a webinar or, you know, working with you, you know, in your business or whatever, your PS signature is there to generate to help you generate more sales in your business. OK, so I use my 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 uh, email signatures very, very strategically. And I'm looking down because I actually have you guys on my phone. <laughs> but um, so the very first thing that I did was I created a call to action in my PS signatures. OK, um, sometimes I sent an email just strictly talking about my Facebook group and how I was in my Facebook group, adding a ton of value. You know, they want to learn how to generate leads and blah, blah, blah. And, and again, your Facebook group can be about anything. It could be about health and wellness. It could be about travel. It could be about whatever it is that you are promoting, whatever it is that you you're passionate about speaking about. That's what you can create a a a Facebook group around. OK, so um, the second thing that I did was I added a call to action to my weekly blog posts. OK, so inside of my blog post, there's, you know, that that, you know, call to action to, hey, if you want to learn how if you want to learn how to do X, Y, Z, or if you want to le learn, you know, tips, tricks, strategies, whatever, whatever. Come and join us in the free Facebook group, right? So the goal is to constantly push people to your Facebook group because the more people that you can have in your Facebook group, the more exposure you're going to get for your products and services and business opportunities or affiliate programs or coaching programs or whatever it is that you are trying to sell, okay? Um, number three was I added a call to action to my YouTube videos. So in my YouTube videos, I basically say, you know, again, you want to learn how to do X, Y, Z, come join my Facebook groups. OK, or if you're the end of your call to action is a different kind of call to action, then put it in the description inside of your YouTube videos. OK, so that's number three. Number four is add it to your description on Instagram. You know, take a few days to tell, you know, your next few posts. Or oh, I should say like this. Edit your post, edit your description on Instagram, put a link to your Facebook group, and then for the next few days, post some pictures on your Instagram account about your Facebook group and get them over there. Drive the traffic from Instagram into your Facebook group. Why? Because it's a group. 
most people, everybody's on Facebook, right? I don't know anybody, I don't know one person that's not on Facebook unless you're living on a rock somewhere, okay? <laughs> Even my father's on Facebook and he's 91 years old, okay? So you got to have um, a different ways of getting, pushing people into your Facebook group because think of it as your little um, incubator, right? It's your incubator where you build relationships with prospects and customers and all that good stuff, okay? So you got to push people to the group. The next one, number five, is you add a call to action to your Facebook Lives. So at the end of your Facebook Lives, make sure that you tell people about your group, you know, what you're going to be teaching inside that group and push them to it. Ask them to join. OK, um, number six, create a Facebook post on your fan page boost it to whatever audience that you feel, you know, that you want to attract inside of your group, boost that post and invite people to join, you know, put a link in that post directly to your Facebook group. Okay. So you're going to drive traffic from a paid ad that you can spend like five or $10 a day. It doesn't have to be a lot of money. You can run it for like a week, but that will help you build up your Facebook group faster because you're going to get more eyeballs during that week. Let's see, where's my notes here? Um, okay, number seven, invite prospects when you're talking to them. So if you are on your little handy dandy tool called your smartphone, or if you are on your computer, you know, um, having conversations with people on Facebook, ask them if they want to join. Again, tell them what it is that you're going to be sharing inside of this group. Make a big deal out of this group because, again, that's where you're going to build rapport and build relationships with the people that you're connecting with. Let's see. The next one is number eight. Post it on your wall. Okay, so make a huge, big announcement, um, preferably with a picture, preferably of yourself, but make a huge announcement about your Facebook group on your main Facebook wall, okay? And push those people to the group, just put a link to the group. And the, the great thing about that is when you put the actual link of the Facebook group on your Facebook wall, Facebook likes that because it's inside of Facebook, okay? But if you post links to like your blog posts or your YouTube videos, you're not gonna get as much exposure. You're not gonna get as much engagement. You're not going to get as much as many people seeing it as if you did just post a link directly to the group using the actual Facebook domain that they give you for your Facebook group, okay? So if you're creating like short code or short URLs or, you know, lisatorespeaks.com forward slash Facebook group, that's not really going to help you because, you know, it's that link that you're posting is your link that you created wherever you created this short link from. Facebook wants to keep everything internally. So by doing that, you're just messing up your own algorithm because you have to push people, you know, to that group using the link that Facebook gives you for that group. OK, just post the raw link of that group. Do not create any short codes for it. Because that's going to hinder, you know, you getting more exposure for it. Um, let's see. Number nine, invite people from other groups. OK, now, of course, you have to read the group rules. OK, so many people are organizing groups like, for example, my group. You can't come into my group spamming your business opportunity and posting links to your blog or any of that stuff because I don't allow it. The moment I see people doing. First of all, I say it in the description when they join. Don't do this. OK, but the moment the very first per, the very first time the person does that in my group. They're out of here. They're booted. There is no coming back because I hit the block button and they can never get back in again. Why? Because I asked you nicely to not post your links, promotion, you know, promoting your blogs and your YouTube videos and, you know, affiliate programs and all that stuff. This is not, you know, this group is I, my group is a safe environment. OK, and we want to keep it that way. So keep your, your group a safe environment by not allowing there's a feature inside of the Facebook group by not allowing them to just, you know, post. Um, they can post, but you got to make sure that you approve it first. So make sure that you set that feature inside of your Facebook group to approve the post first before anybody else can see it. OK, and those people that are going in there and, and disrespecting your group and not paying attention to the rules, make sure that you delete and block them, period. There is no second chance in my group. There is no second chance. The first time you do that is the last time you'll do that in my group. OK, so that's the kind of posture you have to have with your own Facebook group. Now, let's talk about 
other people's Facebook groups. Okay, this is number eight. Invite other people. Invite people from other Facebook groups. Make sure that you read the rules of other people's people's Facebook group. So there's many Facebook on. Uh, this is, excuse me. There's many Facebook groups on Facebook that have literally thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people in there. And they're all, you know, the Facebook group manager or whoever, you know, the, the admin of that group, they allow you to post links to your blog, links to your business opportunity. Those type of groups, yes, go in those, there's tons of them. So you can go inside of those groups and, and instead of being, you know, just like everybody else where you're like, buy my business, you know, buy my product, join my business, and you're going in there spamming, right? Instead of doing that, what you need to do is add some value, you know, and, and then at the call, to, the, the call to action of that, you know, at the end of that value should be, hey, come join my Facebook group. And you can do that. I mean, literally, there's tons of Facebook groups that allow you to, you know, post freely in there. But you just got to read the rules. Stop disrespecting other people's groups. OK, if they don't want you posting things inside your group. You got to pay attention to the rules because it's not your group in your group. You could do whatever you want. OK, like in my group, I post promotions. I post my courses. I post whatever it is I want to promote in there because it's my group. I own it. I created it. It's mine. I run the rules. I run the show. Whoever doesn't like it could hit the road. OK, and that's what you have to do. So number 10 is on your blog. If you're a blogger like me on your blog, and this is something that I've had on my to-do list and I haven't had a chance to do it yet, but this is something that I added to my, uh, you know, 10 things I need to do to get more people to my, um, to my Facebook group. Um, so if you go to my blog, you don't see it is because I haven't personally done it yet, but this is one, the last, I really had number nine, but I wanted to share 10 with you because number 10 is what I'm also going to be doing to drive more traffic to my group. And that is if you have a blog like I do, OK, if you're a constant blogger like I am where you're up, you know, creating blog posts once a week, a couple of times a week or whatever. Make sure that either on the sidebar, you have a little banner that promotes people, you know, that sends people to your Facebook group. And again, you could put them directly in there. Right. You don't have to create a capture page or, you know, here's a capture page to join my group. You don't have to do that. I mean, you can. But you don't really have to do that. You could just put the link, create a nice little banner on Canva or Canva.com, or you can go have somebody create a nice banner for you if you're not creative on uh, Fiverr.com, okay? F I V E R R.com, where you can get some you know, banners done for five bucks, okay? And so you can either or both create a banner on your sidebar pushing people to that group. And you can also create a tab, like a page that talks about your group and then invites people to that group. Or you can actually have that tab linking directly to your group so that, you know, it's not an, a page inside, internally inside of your blog post. OK, so with that being said. <laughs> yes, Yolanda. <laughs> so with that being said, um, that's all I have. You know, that is the top 10 ways that I, well, for me, initially it was the top nine, but I just added the last one, which was the fate, you know, the, the blog post banner and, um, you know, the, uh, what do you call it? Oh, what do you call it? The tab, okay? the tab on your blog post, you could have a tab linking directly to your, um, your Facebook group. OK, so those were um, 10 ways that you can actually start doing right now um, to to, you know, over the next 90 days to build up that group. Excuse me, not 90 days, 30 days to build up that group to over a thousand people just like I did. OK, so those are the 10 ways. So if you want to get access, just to recap what January's training was all about. Week number one, we talked about how I. Lisa Torres <laughs> personally sponsored 52 members in one month from one Facebook group when I first launched it. Number two, uh, week number two is um, I'm teaching you how to add bonuses to your Facebook challenge groups to make more sales. Week number three, I talked about how to prospect and close new customers and members inside of your business. Week number four, I taught you how to create momentum inside of your Facebook challenge groups. And of course, this is week number five, which again, I had to do Monday, but I didn't get a chance to launch it. 
So I'm launching it now, right now, live for you. <laughs> um, so today we talked about how to build up that group to over a thousand new members in one month over the next 30 days. Okay. So with that being said, uh, what do I also have for you? Okay, so now if you want access to the five-part training, then leave a message down below. And um, I don't know, maybe I'll post the links directly to them down below or just leave, you know, leave, you know, say, you know, five-part series in the comments below and I will send you directly to that, um, to those videos so you can watch the replays to those. All right. So let me share my screen really quickly because I have something for you. It's a freebie that I have. Let me just go here. All right. So here's the freebie that I have. Five steps to running your own profitable Facebook challenge groups. And you can grab that at lisatorespeaks.com forward slash free and the number one. OK, and you can see it right here. All right, right there on the page uh, on this website. So five steps to running your own profitable Facebook challenge groups. Go grab that now. I hope you guys enjoyed this training. If you did, make sure that you like, comment, and share it. And um, I will see you guys on the next live stream. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'm about to go watch a movie. And hey, if you got any um, suggestions on a movie that I can watch tonight and relax to, Post it down below because I'm going to be turning on Netflix and, you know, throwing some popcorn on and, and watching a movie tonight. So have a great night, everyone, and I'll see you on the next live.